The emergency order means that all cargo loaded onto aeroplanes from five Muslim-majority countries will be required to adhere to what's called ACAS, or Air Cargo Advanced Screening Protocols. The Transportation Security Administration admits that most of the requirements were already being voluntarily applied by airlines around the world. Six airlines, Egypt Air, Royal Jordanian, Qatar, Saudi, Emirates and Etihad serving the US from Cairo International Airport in Egypt, Queen Aliya International Airport in Jordan, King Abdul Aziz International Airport and King Khalid International Airport in Saudi Arabia, Doha Hamad International Airport in Qatar and Dubai International and Abu Dhabi International Airports in the UAE will be affected. Turkey had already been mandated to participate in ACAS following a failed plot to blow up an Australian airliner in the summer. As part of the plot, high-grade military explosives were sent from Turkey by air cargo. ACAS means air carriers will have to provide details as soon as is possible prior to the loading of cargo to U.S. authorities, such as the origin of a shipment, the sender, its itinerary since it was originally sent, its destination and contents. These procedures are not uh, designed to be extremely prohibitive or extremely uh, um, difficult for uh, the airlines. Uh, they understand, TSA understands that they're going to try to streamline this. But again, I, I don't think it's a bad move by the TSA. I think it's a prudent move. And again, it's a move that already has some precedent. It's being done in other places around the world voluntarily. The goal is to detect anomalies. Authorities give the example of a $100 printer that's freely available in the U.S. being sent to the U.S. at a cost of $500 through one of the five countries. It's hoped that the information supplied under ACAS would flag the shipment for further inspection. The TSA says the new requirement isn't based on any, quote, brand new intelligence, but a demonstrated intent by terrorist groups to target aviation, possibly with a bomb concealed in a large electronic device. The Trump administration is reported to be considering extending the requirements to all air cargo bound for the U.S. Shia Al Jazeera.